Welcome to the channel, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna do a challenge. Rubicons versus Jimny. Yeah, buddy! Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. We are covered in some mud. We got the good old trusty Jimny, and we got the brand new Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 4XE. And we're going to have a battle. So as you can tell, we got my beloved Jimny here, 1500cc 16 valve, and the brand new 2022 4XE. This is a hybrid model, so uh, yeah. But I didn't charge a battery, so the battery is flat. So we can't actually use the battery, maybe a little bit, Probably not. We will be doing some challenges today. Uh, we're gonna go up the mountain. Boom! And down the mountain. We're gonna do some uh, mud bogging over there. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Three, two, one, go! But of course, before we go driving, uh, there is a couple of technical specs that are really important. Uh, Let's see who wins these. One of the first things that is really important, of course, is the weight if you go off-roading. For the Jimny, it's 1,050 kilograms. As for the Wrangler, 2,300. Yeah, that's a big buffalo right there. Winner, Jimny. But of course, the challenges for today aren't going to be that easy for the Jimny to win, because next up is comfort. If you go for a really, really long drive, yeah, I mean, the Jeep is just, this is a comfy place to be on. As for the Jimny, as you can tell, it is very basic and comfort, it's hard to say. I've been driving them both, but the Wrangler has got that point. Wrangler wins. Now prices, of course, of course, the Jimny is going to win this one. 26,500 euros I paid for my Jimny. As I checked uh, last week, they have already gone up to 28, 90, 90. So yeah, it's almost close to 30. For the Rubicon, it is 76,100 euros. It's about the same in dollars to start with. Still have to configure it. Jimny wins this one. Good job, Jimny. So those are easy specs. And you guys be thinking like, yeah, you can make up whatever, the Jimny will win. But now, one of the most important 4x4 things you can have, ground clearance. So ground clearance. Got my trusty old meter over here and uh, let's check this one out. The things we do for a video. So ground clearance on my little Jimny. Gonna start from the diff. It's going to be about, hard to say, but yeah, it's about 24 centimeters. 24 centimeters ground clearance. It's not really flat over here, but let's just make it 24. Yeah, dang it. So uh, as for the uh, Rub Rubicon, um, uh, um, I don't really wanna, um, yeah. Uh, oh man. There is no way that I'm getting in that mud pit. So uh, we move to Frank a little bit. <laughs> Measuring time. Should have stayed with road cars. Would have been so much easier. So we had 24 centimeters on the Jimny. And we have, you guys ain't gonna believe this, but it is 23 centimeters on the Wrangler. Yeah, for the diff. Strange. But, of course, uh, I'm not gonna lie, the ground is not really as flat as a pool table. So, uh, it could be equal. We're gonna give them both one point. Yeah, let's just say it's the same. Now, first driving challenge. Of course, drag times. Drag times, drag race. Uh, it is uh, very muddy over here, so it's going to get a... Uh, yeah, we are going to do a drag race from over here all the way over there. The first one to get his car very muddy and wet driving through the puddle wins. And I've got a GoPro over there so I know exactly when he's there. Got the yellow starting line over there and uh, yeah, let's see who wins this one. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more to the front. 
<laughs> oh lord have mercy so yeah uh going to try this one again driver are you ready okay three two one go big pedal bam wasn't actually that bad uh, he did it in six seconds and 22 6.2 seconds it's pretty fast I'm gonna take out the Jimny oh lord three oh oh, oh, oh. three two one go <laughs> Now let's check out the Jimny times. What do you guys reckon? What do you guys think? Was the Jimny faster? I think looking at the footage, the Jimny was faster. Not a lot, but I think it was faster. Jens, what's the score? Six seconds flat. Winner, drag race, Jimny. Next up, uphill drag race. Woo. So uh, we have arrived to the Mount Everest uh, and it's going to be gnarly. So uh, yet again, we get the yellow GoPro box to the start. We have a GoPro on top. We have the timer. We're gonna do a gonna do a little drag race. So yeah, Jimny versus Rubicon. Three, two, one, go! As you can tell, that Jimny was flying up there. And we got a beautiful 3.8 seconds. It's time for the Rubicon. Three, two, one, go! Gonna be, just be surprised what the Rubicon has done. Jens, what do we got? 4.52 seconds. Yet again, it's not a point for the Jimny. You know, lightweight, so uphill. The Jimny wins this one. The next challenge we are going to do, Jimny versus Rubicon, is hill descent. So, no brakes, first gear, first low. Uh, I've been told that the Rubicon has a special hill hold. Uh, hill descent computer so yeah let's see what we get three two one oh <laughs> three two one go <laughs> so slow so slow Da -da 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 -da. And boom! Yeah, we got 19.6 seconds for the Rubicon. Let's bring out the Jimny. I don't even think my Jimny has some kind of hill descent control. Not really sure. Three, two, one, go! It's hard to digest, but 15.25 seconds for the Jimny. So the Rubicon is slower in hill descent. God dang it. And last before challenge we are going to do is of course turning circles. So a uh, very important one in the 4x4 world. How short can you turn? Let's try that one. Mate, you can't park there. 
if we look from the backside, this is where Jimny came out. And that's where the Rubicon came out. So yeah, points taken by the Jimny. And on my channel, I do get a lot. That's the 80th anniversary of Wrangler. Um, I get a lot of questions like, what is the miles per gallon? What is the fuel consumption? So I'm gonna take that one also into consideration. And the Jimny has an average fuel consumption of 7.7 .7 liters on 100 kilometers. And it's not electric or hybrid, so it's average 7.7. .7. For the Rubicon, it's 4.4 on average. So yeah, Wrangler won this one, but wait, there is more. The Wrangler only wins when the battery is charged and the battery only lasts for 40 kilometers. So yeah, if the battery is not working and is flat, as it is right now, it's an average of about 10 to 12 liters on 100 kilometers. So yeah, you guys decide. I'm gonna give this one to the Wrangler. It's a hybrid, it's green, you gotta save the planet. So beautiful challenges have been done today. The Jimny wins, so I can only smile because I got the Jimny. Six points for the Jimny and three points for the Rubicon. Now, what challenges should we do next? So next time I do have a Defender coming also. And uh, yeah, I still wonder what challenges we can do next. So let me know in the comments what challenges we can do next. Oh, <laughs>